Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Beyonce and Solange Knowles came to me in the astral last night. I don't know what happened. I was at an event. I was at an event where I was supposed to find the right someone or something. I was looking for someone or something. I was supposed to find the right someone or something. I don't know what it was. Then I get the energy of Beyonce and Solange. Then I see something about choking. Choking, people dying, um, a lot of people dying, and that it was planned. Is Beyonce and Solange even alive? Have Were they choked? Uh, choked to death? And now we see their AIs are clones. I don't know why is Solange still alive? I don't know. I went on her Instagram. She hasn't posted since December. I haven't heard about her since December. Apparently nobody has. Um, Beyonce has been AI and everyone is talking about Beyonce right now. So that's super interesting. So when I say people dying, I think like people will assume this is like a post apocalyptic type of dream or like whatever. I, I genuinely believe that all of Hollywood is dead. Um, I think they're all clones. If we see anybody in person, I think that they have passed on. I think that they were entities from... Th this whole thing has been planned. Just finished watching Sloan's video about Ryan Garcia. First time I've actually listened to a whole thing about Ryan Garcia and heard the whole story. Thank you, Sloan, for making that video. Now I feel like I can give my insight. My insight is that Ryan is playing his role to expose things. Um, this was also part of the plan. This is also planned. Um... Sloan included a part of video of his live of Ryan's live where he said time travel we have proof and he got cut off so Ryan is just part of this ex disclosure so I guess I can make a video on Ryan and that um Paris Hilton is another one who is exposing so much with the AI and the metaverse um I want to make a video on her because uh it's very very obvious found a lot of clips of her just doing the same thing over and over um it's clearly not really her it's just AI um so I believe with the Ryan Garcia thing he's just playing his role as far as disclosure goes and exposing everything um this is a part of the script everything that is coming out and how it's happening is a part of the script um so i don't know the thing about choking and dying people dying um beyonce solange i don't know what's going on there but it's giving they're not around anymore um that's that's what i can tell you as far as that goes oh also amy schumer and noah snap i don't know who these people are but they showed up in my dream as well I do know who Amy Schumer is. Noah, I guess, is the guy from Stranger Things. Um, I don't know. I, th their names, pop Amy and Noah, popped up in my dream. So I Googled. I was like, who's Amy and Noah? I found one thing that has to do with something else. And then I found the celebrity Amy and Noah. I thought maybe Noah Cyrus. So also trying to figure that out. I'm sure the Noah Cyrus thing has something to do with it as well with Trisha, Trish and um that other dude that supposedly Noah and this 50 year old were hooking up that's fucking weird so that can also link to it but I guess Noah and Amy Schumer are really close and he's like way younger than her so that's strange and um Selena Gomez was involved in something with Noah and Amy and then Selena Gomez has been coming up a lot so like they're all speaking out in whatever way that they can and when someone doesn't cover a certain topic, it's usually because they're being controlled and they can't talk about it. Because they have a whole team behind them, they're being told what to say. And so they're scared for their lives because they've tortured these people forever. So a lot of people are like, well, if you don't say anything, it's because, you know, you have all these followers, you need to speak on this subject or whatever. And it's like, a celebrity speaking on a subject isn't going to make a difference let's let's be honest i think like a lot of a lot of political stuff like i don't think celebrities should be involved in politics and i think a lot of people expect celebrities and influencers and everyone to put their opinion into politics which is like it just like celebrities and hollywood our actors didn't run for political office so why are we involving the two that's where the problem comes in when corporations and money and influencers and people up here get involved in politics and then influence the the, the people down here who can't think for themselves and are just little followers and say well my favorite actor said that i should vote for this person so let me vote for this person and this is how we got here so I don't know, there was some controversy going on about the Israeli thing, I guess it had to do with Amy and Noah and Selena Gomez, and it started some drama. I don't know, it's just 
all of these people, this whole thing, the world is a stage. The world is a stage and we have to stop looking for these people, look to these people for answers because they're all being controlled and no one is actually being themselves and not even just with Hollywood and everywhere out there. Everyone in our immediate lives is masking and is putting on a character. I was just talking about this with my sister this morning because I... I'm not attracted to anyone right now. I'm not attracted to anyone. I can't find people that I like. There's a few people I vibe with, but very, very select few because everyone is masking and everyone is fake. Okay. And I need everyone to like unzip, unzip your little human costume that you put on and this little character you created because you thought it was like the cooler thing that people were going to like and accept you because you're fake. Too many, too many people like me now getting out and like the lgbtq community i see a lot of people and but this is also has to do with straight people as well i feel like everyone is just masking everyone has created a character of who they think is like like jojo siwa like jojo what are you doing jojo like i know jojo doesn't know who she is because she's had to be a performer since she was born it feels like a lot of but but that's just her right and she's she's in the public eye but why are we as people that are not in the public eye feeling like we have to put on a mask and feeling like we have to create a character to please everyone else that's why we are the way we are that's why we're so fucked up that's why this whole world is fucked up is because everybody is masking everybody is lying everybody is creating a character that they think that they should be instead of who they really are because no one knows who the fuck they are because they're following everybody else's orders please <laughs> everybody unzip unzip and get back to your natural state of who you are probably a little alien no oh, look at this thank you thank you to my friend from australia who painted this for me um yeah you guys there's a lot going on i have a headache now that i started talking of course the minute i start talking i get a headache because i start channeling but i need everybody to stop looking to others for approval and to stop feeling like they need to be a certain person to be cool and like oh well if i'm gay i have to act this way and if i'm straight i have to act this way and if i or i have to even put a label on anything like fuck the labels fuck the labels fuck literally fuck religion fuck a spirituality fuck all this shit just figure yourself out figure your shit out too many people don't know who they are too many people don't know who they are and are masking and putting on a front for the entire world so that they can get little followers and everybody can follow them and they can feel cool what are what are you people contributing what are you contributing besides fakeness and material and superficial surface level shit i need more people to get it together more people to also get out of their ego as far as like the spiritual community goes as well because too many of them think that they know everything and they don't and they try to build little cults to have you follow them everybody needs to just stay in their own motherfucking lane and stop trying to have everybody follow them and do exactly well if you don't do this then you're not this and if you don't do this then you're not that shut the fuck up everybody just shut the fuck up and mind your own fucking business this goes out to no one in particular. I just feel like as a content creator and as someone who speaks on so many different, so many different things, I'm never in one lane. <laughs> Me telling everybody to stay in their own lane. I'm in everybody's lane. Um, but I'm in everybody's lane because I come in to like fuck shit up and be like, hey, 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 nobody put you in charge. Uh, sit the fuck down. And then I bump them off their little pedestal and then I go off on my way to the next group of pedestals that I have to bump down because too many people are putting themselves like a hierarchy everybody we're all the same we're all the human species okay it doesn't matter what religion you are what race you are how old you are what gender you are it does not matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so please stop thinking that anyone is better than you or that you are better than anyone it's not a race it's not a competition we're all just vibing we're here for the vibes okay we're here for the plot so just vibe and plot don't stir the pot don't stir the pot too much but stir it up a little bit but you know stir the pot up like go live your best life do whatever it is you want to do 
leave whoever you need to leave behind and have a blast and people will watch you from afar because they're jealous they are not a part of your life anymore because you cut them off because they never showed you the respect that you were that you should have had that they should have given you and they didn't treat you right and oh well too bad so sad cry me a fucking river you should have thought about that when you had me this is to everybody who I've cut out in my life. I've cut out a lot of people. Pretty much everybody pre-2020 has been cut out, okay? So, if you don't like that, you should thought about that. And that's how I want you guys to feel about it, too. You guys can do it. Don't feel like you have to, like you need anyone. You don't need anyone. You have the universe behind you. And that's better than any human could ever do. I just wanted to tell you guys that little rant. I do have more dreams and decodes and stuff to tell close friends. This was free publicly but if you guys want to keep hearing more make sure you dm me to join close friends the details are in the caption of the second post and you guys can hear more tea anyways off to dye my hair now adios happy saturday